So what is the very latest with the domestic political tensions in Israel and the impact that they're having on the broader war? Well, Kristen, there's a lot of concern among Israelis here that the politics is spilling over into the war effort. The system in Israel is the same as in the United States. The democratically elected civilian government makes the big decisions, and the Israeli military executes those decisions. But right now, you have a security cabinet that is very divided between far-right members, some of whom are calling for Palestinians to be expelled from Gaza, more centrist ministers like the Israeli defense minister. And according to some of those ministers, you have Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu kind of just floating above it, not really taking sides. I sat down earlier with the Israeli military's chief spokesman, and I asked him about those politics. Take a listen. Some far-right members of the security cabinet have said Israel should try to push Palestinians out of Gaza into other countries. Is that one of your military objectives? This is not a military objective of this war. When some people see the scale of destruction in Gaza, they wonder whether you were trying to make it so that it's unlivable, people can't go back to destroyed homes. There is, there is destruction. The reason to this destruction is Hamas, because Hamas embedded himself in those houses, in those area, He created a tunnel system underneath the houses. So we had to be, we had to take those targets. But every target that we took was an accurate one based on intelligence, according to the international And Kristen, I asked him about the growing civilian death toll in Gaza. He said Israel's military is acting within the rules of warfare and that they're trying to minimize those casualties. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.